So when playing drums, there's like four different grips. There's a German grip where your hand is completely flat and parallel to whatever surface you're playing. Hi-hat, cymbal, toms, whatever. That would be German. There's American, which is neither flat and neither on top. It's in between. Um, I play American because it's the most comfortable for me to play. Except when I'm moving to this side of the drum kit where I play French grip. That is where your thumb is on top of the stick, perpendicular to whatever you're playing. So I'll play American almost all the time in my left hand, and I'll play American all the time in my right hand, unless I'm playing really the ride cymbal or floor tom. It changes slightly. It's not a huge exaggeration. It's not like I'm changing grips in my mind. It's a, just a very small tenden, uh, tendency change that most drummers do. Um, and it can create a little more of a staccato articulation on your ride cymbal, which as a drummer, we prefer to play with more staccato sounds. Um, now, the other grip to talk about is traditional grip. Traditional grip was invented um, to, uh, and developed really when people were going to war. And you know they would play the drums when they were going into battle, and the drums would be on a sling over the knee on this side of the body. So obviously this is extremely uncomfortable to do. So that's why they invented the traditional grip. Um, traditional grip can be used for anything. It can be used for rock, it can be used for funk, it can be used for jazz. Um, it's your preference. I prefer to play matched because uh, for rock and funk because it gives me, I feel like, a little more power. But for jazz, I do switch to uh, traditional grip uh, to give me a more variety of sounds.